there i'm back with the carving of mandibular right canine as you can see i have wax block with marked midline on every surface also i have labeled it as labial lingual mesial and distal for the crown we have to take 11.0 mm and for the root 16.0 mm now we have to divide the crown in three equal thirds that is cervical middle and incisal third and we will do this for uh, other side also now for the mesodistal dimension of the crown we have to take 5.5 mm at cervix and 7.0 mm at the contact area now to get a trapezoid we have to draw a line like this and we will do this for the lingual side also and now we will remove the excess part case of canine as we have already seen in maxillary canine additional step is added that is we have to draw a line like this to get the shape and we will remove this part also the mesial slope is shorter than the distal one and the cusp ridges are more narrower and less developed than the maxillary canine the labiolingual dimension of the crown 7.0 mm at cervix and 7.5 mm at the contact area for the labial surface of the canine we have to carve from one side like this and just beside from the left side like this to get a bulge
that will result in middle lobe middle developmental lobe of canine here you can see the prominence now we have to remove some extra part to get other two lobes that is mesial and distal developmental lobes in the labial surface surface it is same as the maxillary canine it's just that the cingulum will be less developed and the fossa will be less developed The crown will be more narrower than the maxillary canine. Now for the root, we have to draw like this. Now we will remove the excess part to get this type of root like that.
there are developmental grooves on the mesial and distal surface of the root in mandibular canine so we will draw like this and carve this developmental depressions We will draw the cervical outline that will be convex towards the apex in labial and lingual aspect and in mesial and distal aspect it is concave that is 3 mm in mesial aspect and 1 mm in distal aspect. So here is the carving of mandibular right canine. Thanks for watching this video and watch my next video for the carving of maxillary first premolar.